This program contains strong language. So, can you tell us a little bit more about Jasmine? Was she like? I would have everything. She's lovely. Like, uh, I feel like it got me head over heels over her. Like, from how she looks to like her personality and everything, I'm like, this is wifey right there, you know? Wow. <laughs> it's that deep for me. How did you guys meet? She saw me on, on this dating app and um, she added me on Snapchat. How does she make you feel? She got me feeling a little bit all these butterflies in my belly. And I just felt like I knew her. Like, I don't know if you guys had ever an experience where like you just met this person for the first time, but you felt them like you known them your whole life. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it feels like to me. Wow. I've been looking for somebody like you all my life, and now I finally found you. And do you guys like talk on the phone, or is it strictly like text messaging? I've been trying like to like get her on a FaceTime or on a call, or even to like hear her voice. Send me a voice note, kind of thing. She's acting shy. So you're speaking to this girl. Why do you need our help? A connection like this doesn't come along easily. It's, it's a rare thing. I'm 30. I've, I've experienced, you know, relationships and all that stuff. But I want to pursue this. I'm not about wasting my time, and mm. I'm pretty sure she's on the same vibe too. So it's like we want to go somewhere with this, and I need some help to make this happen. And I definitely think that you guys are the best people to do that. Well, Joffrey, hang on tight. We're gonna come and make our way to you. Take care, my friend. Bye, friend. Bye. Oh, what a lovely man. Do you know one thing that stood out to me straight away, yeah? Yeah. Is if you did find his socials from, like, another social media the platform... Dating app. Why were you lurking? You could have just messaged him on there. On the dating app. But let's not make assumptions. Yeah. Come on, friend. <laughs> let's head over to Joffrey's. To the black country you go. Is it? Let's do this. Let's go. Hey! Hello! How's it going? How are Hi, you? Jeffrey. How are you? Hello, How are you? Get hey. comfy. Thank you. Thank you. Whew. OK, so, Joffrey, tell us about yourself. You want to know about me? Yes. All right, all right, all right. What's your love life been like in the past? It's been interesting, I'd say. I'd say they were kind of challenging, in a way. I think that's what got me to have this spiritual um, awakening, because I was more into my ego. <laughs> I definitely mm. want to say that. I, mean, like, I was more into the physical aspect of things and not just what's within. Mm. And it kind of like was draining me a little bit through the whole experience, yeah. so, yeah. What do we actually know about Jasmine? Yeah. OK, she lives in London, North London. She's full of ambition, you know? She, she's out there, a go-getter, you know? She's on that. She makes me feel like I can be a better person and we're able to have a conversation about on how I can improve myself. I feel like I've known this person all my life. Mm. I feel like I'm talking to myself. We reflect so much of each other and we had the same interests. Like, I think something that really grabbed my attention was like the books that she was reading, which is the book that I've been reading when I had my own spiritual awakening. Oh, no. Nice. I was like, yo, you must be my twin flame. Like, you know soulmates? It's soulmates. Kind of head over the hills here. Exactly. Before I was more into the physical, maybe now the universe is trying to tell me, slow it down a little bit and be patient because it's going to be worth the wait, I'd say. And she, the fact that she's into spirituality and she's looking that good, I'm like, what? What's going on, you know? Uh, yeah. Would you be able to show me a picture of Jasper? Of course. Go ahead, check it out. She's very Ooh. pretty. She fine, fine. Now, don't we look, like, good together? Maybe. Yeah. Has she told you how she feels about you? <laughs> she tells me every day, like, the L word. She said it several times. She's... She told you she yeah. loves you. Yeah, yeah. We made plans, like, yeah, we're going to get a place together. And I want to experience that whole, like, family kind of thing, you know? Mm. And settling down. Nobody ever made me feel this way, mm. you know? I never had it with anybody. And the universe trying to tell me 
this is the one. You've been waiting for it, you've been asking for it. Asking it is given. How do you guys communicate? Is it only on Snapchat? Only on Snapchat. I asked her about any social media things. She's like, I ain't got no social media. And I'm like, how? I know, I know, I know. I know. Hear me out. It's because she was telling me, like, social media was just taking too much of her time, and she was too into it, and she needed like, that detox. You guys haven't spoken on the phone yet? Never, unfortunately, no. You've tried? I've, <laughs> I've tried to pursue that so many different times. And then when it comes to the time, they're like, OK, cool, are you ready to FaceTime? Mm. I would get ignored, or excuses would come like, oh, I'm, I'm not ready, or this and stuff. Just living with that thought for a second that maybe Jasmine might be someone else, mm. do you think there's anyone else in your life that might do something like this to you? I mean, there was one fallout that I had with my friend. And we were supposed to work on a song. And um, I didn't follow through with the song. And we got into like a, a little bit of an argument. And since then, we haven't spoken. And that was like, I want to say, a little bit less than five months. Nah, come on. Five months ago, you fall out with this friend. Soon after, the love of your life pops up on your Snapchat. Wow. I pray to God that nobody would stoop that low. Yeah. It just genuinely could be a coincidence. Yeah. Because that's definitely something that we'll want to look at. Yeah. OK, for sure. We're going to get to work first thing tomorrow. Mm. So I suggest you email us everything that you have on Jasmine. Yes. And then we'll get to work. I'll, I'll send that right away. How about that? Yeah! Cool. Let me walk you out, bro. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank Have you so much. Have a lovely evening, my yes. friends. And we'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day. Bro. Like, what? He's got a lot invested in this. So and... much. Worst case scenario, it's not Jasmine behind his profile. Mm. And it's somebody that knows Joffrey and knows his type and knows to pick a specific girl that they know he'd be attracted to. I've got, like, a gut feeling that this is going to end so badly. 